This is Jared Horak for todaysracingdigest.com and this is my Santa Anita Saturday video for Saturday, April 29th, 2017. We're going to do the seventh race from Santa Anita Park, the Grade 3 Thunder Road. For three year olds and up, one mile on the turf course. We have a seven horse field. Let's meet the Digest contenders. Breaking from the inside post, you have Perfectly Majestic. He's 7 to 2 morning line. He should be rallying from off the pace under Kent Desarmo. Last time out, that was a nice effort down the hill. He just missed by a nose rallying behind Stormy Liberal. Stormy Liberal has been very sharp down the hill. He just won another stakes race down the hill last weekend. And he earned a good number there. Uh, he earned a, a, a nice 97 fire rating. Also, his CPR number, his compre comprehensive performing rate, performance rating of 155. So that was a, a good number that he actually earned that same number uh, back in November on the turf course uh, at Del Mar. Uh, so he came back to his top number last time out, and now he's had plenty of time between starts. He hasn't run since March 4th, uh, so now it's April 29th, so he's had time to recover from that one. Uh, the only concern about him, and at one mile, he's 0 for 11 with 3 seconds and 5 thirds. It's maybe not his best distance, but he should be finishing. He certainly has the numbers to compete here. Uh, another one that has the numbers to compete here is going to be the 2 2020 vision. He's 7 to 2 morning line as well for trainer Richard Mandela. Uh, now, his last three starts, he didn't run well, but it was on the big cap last time on dirt. But uh, prior to that, 10 furlongs on turf in the San Marcos. Caught a wet track before that. Now, if you look at his string of fire numbers uh, prior to his last three, anywhere from 99 uh, to a 105, uh, very solid numbers there. And if he can run back to any of those numbers, he's certainly a contender in here. He's very consistent, if you, if you can draw a line through the last two. Uh, he's had... Uh, eight starts on the turf course at, at Santa Anita. He's finished in the top three and seven. He's run overall 11 turf races. He's finished in the top three and 10 of those 11. And now he's going to reconnect with his winning rider, Flavian Pratt. And usually when Flavian Pratt rides him, he's in the top three. So I would not be surprised if he rebound. His, his recent form is a bit suspect, but if you look at those numbers, like I said in the past, he's certainly capable of competing with this type. Now you have your morning line favorite, Bolo, number three. He's five to two morning line. Mike Smith is going to ride for trainer Carla Gaines. Uh, they ran him uh, at Keeneland last time, and he didn't run well. Anytime it seems like he gets away from Santa Anita Park, he seems to struggle. And he's going to come back in 15 days, because that Keeneland race, uh, that grade one uh, Makers 46 mile, was just 15 days ago. So now can he bounce back? Uh, so he traveled from California to Kentucky. Now he's back in California again, and running just 15 days later. Uh, so that's going to be the problem. Uh, the other interesting thing about this one is he won the Arcadia Stakes at Santa Anita the last two years. Uh, but, and he earned 105 fire ratings in both of those races. But he's never come close, really, to earning that kind of fire rating before. And both of those races were off a layoff. So it seems like off of a layoff in the Arcadia is where he runs his big numbers. Now, he, he did earn a 98 uh, in his race prior to the Makers 46. And if he can run that kind of number, he would be a competitive, competitive in here. And, and he should be stalking the pace, most likely. He has six starts on the Santa Anita turf course with four wins, a second, and a third. Uh, Myth Call is going to be your, your next one in line. 15 to 1 morning line. Raphael Bejarano is going to ride for trainer Doug O'Neill. Didn't run well on the Santana Mile on dirt, but he did win a couple of overseas turf races uh, last year. And he, he's big, he was competitive in some big fields. He, he, in a 20 horse field, he won a race at Newmarket uh, last year. A uh, 17 horse field, he finished third by one. And on a 15 horse field, he won that as well. So he faced some big fields overseas on turf, and he was competitive, but we don't know where he's going to class up. In the U.S. on turf, we'll find out. Now, Falbozzi is the next one in line. He's 6-1 to one morning line. Corey Nakatani is going to ride. His fire ratings of 93, 94, and 91 in his last three put him a notch below these. He was uh, behind today's rival, uh, uh, Sawyer's Hill, last time out. Finished a length behind that one. He was behind Perfectly Majestic down the hill before that. So he just seems a bit, cut, uh, uh, just a cut below these. But I like Corey Nakatani. He's riding well right now, and he should be stalking the pace. Uh, Farhan is your next one. He could be a live long shot at 6-1 to one with Tyler Bays riding for trainer Phil D'Amato. Earned a 93 fire rating and a 158 CPR last time out. That was a nice effort, that comprehensive performance rating uh, that takes into account your, like your positional speed and your finishing kick. A nice overall rating, and he earned a solid number that day. Now, in that race, Prospect Park controlled the pace. It was a slow pace. He went wire to wire. Farhan did well, stalking from 3rd or 4th and then finishing a clear second. He's going to cut back to a mile. He's earned some, some triple-digit fire ratings in the past on the East Coast, which, which suggests that he could be competitive with these. Three-time winner at the one-mile distance as well. And then rounding out the field, the horse that you're going to have to catch in here, the seven, Sawyer's Hill. He comes off back-to-back one-mile wins at Santa Anita 
went out there, controlled the pace, went wire to wire, and he has some bad class. You go back to 2014, the Del Mar Derby, the Twilight Derby, he hit the board in both of those races. So now he's back to that kind of good form, and you can never discount a classy horse with speed, with the potential uh, to be the, the, the lone speed. Look at the fractional charting in this race. The fractional charting up on the screen right now, it shows that Sawyer's Hill has the capability of getting out there, controlling the pace, and possibly going wire to wire in this race. So how are we going to play this one? Oh, we're going to pick Perfectly Majestic as my top choice. Even though he is 0 for 11 um, on, the t on the turf at this distance, I like that co comprehensive performing rating last time out. His fire numbers are solid. Kent Desormo rides him well. He's usually in the top two when Kent D rides. And I, I look for him uh, to save all the ground, rallying from off the pace. And also look at his uh, Osterman Fast Pig of 135. That's a three-point edge over the rest, so I think that he certainly, at 7-2, to two, could offer value, and maybe people will see that 0-11 for 11 record at distance, but he'd be scared off of him a bit. My second choice is going to be the 7, Sawyer's Hill. I think he could be tough to catch if they let him go like they did in his last two. He's able to dictate terms. He's really sharp right now. I would not be surprised if he went wire to wire. My third choice will be the 3, Bolo. I just think back in 15 days, he could be over bad. He certainly has the class. He loves this turf course, but I think that people are going to jump all over because he loves the turf course. And, and, and I'm going to try to beat him on top, but I would not be surprised if he rebounded with a better effort. My lag long shot and my fourth choice is Farhan. I think coming off that first race in Southern California last time, good effort. He could run another good effort cutting back in distance. So I'm going to suggest a win wager on Perfectly Majestic. An exact a box with Perfectly Majestic and Sawyer Hill. If you're playing trifectas, certainly use um, 2020 Vision, certainly a contender underneath, along with Bolo, uh, and you got to throw Farhan underneath as well. Well, that'll wrap up this video for today's Racing Digest. And if you're interested in the Kentucky Derby contenders, uh, you can watch my Kentucky Derby contenders for the Digest and, and for a free download uh, for Kentucky Derby contenders. Actually, the link, I'm going to pop the link up right now. If you see that link, go to, go to that link. You can find of the Kentucky Derby Contenders free download report uh, for today's Racing Digest uh, for all your Kentucky Derby contenders. And we got the Kentucky Derby coming up next week. And, and we'll be back with another video of the Derby preview next week. Until then, good luck at the race.